Lucas Media. So I'm looking at this article from fadeawayworld.net that's saying that the Dallas Mavericks are now interested again in drafting Bronny James. Now Dallas Mavericks hold the 50th overall pick, which would be the last pick in the NBA draft. And they're saying that Bronny's there. There's a good chance they may select him. However, they don't think that he's going to be there for the last pick. As most people believe that the Lakers with the number 55 or overall pick will pick Bronny James. Um, of course, you hear still other rumors of other teams, but most people believe that Bronny James will be a Laker come next month. I don't see a scenario that going where the Lakers don't draft him. I mean, unless Bronny, LeBron, unless LeBron just leaves the team, but I don't see he's going nowhere. And it's a lot of turmoil going on right now because the Lakers still don't have a head coach. While most people believe, including myself, that it's going to be J.J. Reddick. Now, let's just say in a scenario, the Lakers somehow pass up on Bronny and Dallas picks him up. Where is Bronny going to get some playing time? Yeah, isn't Jaden Hardy, Jaden Hardy there? You got Kyrie Irving there. You got um, Luca, my bad, Luca, Luca there. So where is he gonna get some shots up? Unless they plan on just having him stay in the G League for a couple of years, and maybe do like a, as an example, a Jordan Love of football, or Aaron Rodgers of football, where you sit for three, four years, and then you finally get your chance. But again, that's this is interesting because Rich Paul already came out and said that Bronny's not getting a. NBA or he is not accepting a two-way contract right so then it's like okay well how much are you gonna pay Bronny especially if you got him in the farm system for two three years so I don't know it's just a lot it's just a lot but I do again believe that this is just smoking mirrors and that Bronny will be a Laker JJ Reddick will be the coach and the Lakers are moving to break the internet and you know Jeannie Buss get a couple extra hundred million on her net worth it would just be hard to pass on Bronny, especially when you can make all this money. Like again, I'm not I'm not talking about talent. I'm not talking about none of that. We talking about putting butts in the seats is what they will be saying boxing. And Bronny and LeBron will do that. Now again, it's gonna be a lot of people that don't want that. It's gonna be a lot. Bronny will have to deal with a lot. Y'all think Lonzo Ball had <laughs> had a lot? Had hell when he came to the NBA, it will be nothing, nothing compared to what Bronny will will have to go through. But again, it, it it doesn't make any sense to not pick him. And this lets you know how watered down the draft is. You don't hear about nobody else, no game changers, no potentials. It we're literally talking about Bronny, who's gonna be one of the last picks in the NBA draft, more than likely. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it again. Eh, I can't really see him going to Dallas but I mean we'll have to see but tell me what